In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Squarespace domain to your Google Sites website. Now this is pretty easy and I'm gonna show you here what to do step by step. So first you need to open up Google Sites and then go to the website you want to add the domain to. Once you're here, you wanna head over to the settings in the top right hand corner, then go down to custom domains and click start setup. And from here you can enter in your domain. So I'm gonna go back to Squarespace and we're going to log in to my account and we're gonna head over to the domain. So once I've logged into Squarespace, I can click on domains and here's the domain that I'm going to connect, knowledgebasevideo.com. So I'm gonna click on this domain and I'm just going to copy it from Squarespace. Once I've copied it, we can then head over to Google Sites and I'm just going to paste it into Google Sites. Now it's going to say this domain is not yet verified, which is what it should show. You then need to click verify your ownership and it's gonna then fill in the domain on the domain section of Google Search Console. So you should see your domain here. Go ahead and click on continue and it's going to then check the verification. Now you need to verify that you own that domain before you can connect it. And what I would do is I would go ahead and click on this and you can verify by TXT or CNAME. So I'm gonna choose TXT here because it is recommended. And then what we need to do is just follow the steps. Now I'm gonna show you on video so you can see it visually and I'll explain what you need to do. So what we need to do is we need to copy the TXT record below into the DNS configuration. Now this sounds quite technical, but really it is quite easy. So you wanna copy this to the clipboard. So click copy and you'll see it says copied to clipboard. Now all we need to do is go to Squarespace, go inside of your domains dashboard, head over to DNS, then scroll down, click add records, and we need to go to type and we need to add a TXT record. Now leave everything default here, but where it says data, in this text box, you wanna right click and then paste in the verification code here that you copied earlier from Google Search Console. So this code here, copy this and put it into this data box here. Now once you've added them, click save and then you've just added your TXT record and this is gonna be used to verify that you own the domain. If it says host required, just type at. Okay, so it's now gonna say a custom record was saved. Here is your TXT record. So now head back to that tab, which is gonna be Google Search Console, and we can go ahead and click verify. Now Google Search Console are going to look for that TXT record. And if you just followed along and clicked where I did, it's gonna say ownership verified. So now we can click done. Now you wanna head back to your Google Sites and back to this page. Now you just need to cancel out of this and just re-enter in your domain. So I'm just first gonna copy it so it's easier. So cancel out of this, and then just go back to settings, go back to custom domains, start setup, and then enter in your domain again. And this time it's going to be valid because it recognizes that you own the domain and you validated it. Now you can click next. And now what we need to do is we need to add a CNAME entry. Now again, this sounds quite technical, but in reality, it is very easy. So under CNAME value or alias, enter www. So we go back to Squarespace. And again, we're on the dashboard. We're inside of DNS settings. We then need to scroll down to custom records. We need to click add record. And this time we're adding a CNAME record. So click type CNAME and make sure the host is www which is what it said to enter here on Google Sites. So now in the CNAME destination, enter this here in bold, include period at the end. So we'll copy this from the start to the finish, include in the period, then go back to Squarespace and under the data box here, you wanna paste in what you've just copied, then click save. Again, if it asks for a host, we need to enter www this time and then click save. Now you may run into an issue when you do that saying it conflicts with another CNAME record. If that's the case, just cancel out of it and just look for an existing CNAME record. Now what you wanna do, you wanna click on the trash cam and it's going to delete the default records for Squarespace. Click delete, that's fine because we are redirecting or connecting our domain to Google Sites anyway. We don't need the custom Squarespace records. So now you've deleted that CNAME record, you can go back and add the record again. Make sure the host is www, 
And then for the data, paste in what you should have copied here from Google Sites, this one here in bold. If this is a bit confusing for you, you may need to slow this video down or watch it again. But really, all you're doing is adding two records. So this time we're adding a CNAME record, and now it should add no problem. Okay, so the custom record was saved. So now we added the TXT record to verify that we own the domain and the CNAME record to connect the domain to Google Sites. So once you've added both of them records, you can click Save Changes and click Done. So now it's going to connect your Squarespace domain to Google Sites. Now this may not update straight away, but within 24 to 48 hours, it will be fully working and updated. So let's just go to the domain and see if it's working straight away. Yep, so right now it is not currently working. That's because all the records have to update on all servers, which takes between 24 and 48 hours. If you do wanna make sure you've done this right, obviously just following the steps, if you've done that to a T, then it will be correct. Or if you go and Google DNS checker, you can then go ahead and paste in your domain here, and that will be your custom domain, right? In my case, it's knowledgebasedvideo.com. Once you paste it in your domain, click search, and if everything is green here, it means that it will be connected eventually. You just have to wait between 24 and 48 hours. So that's how you can connect your Squarespace domain to Google Sites. Follow that to a T and it will work. I hope that quick video did help you out.